Hey, it's Greg Archer with MovieWeb. How are you today? Hey, Greg, I'm great. How about you? I'm pretty good. It's good to see you, and congratulations on the second season. Thanks. I felt like it surpassed season one, which was great. Hey, that's the goal, right? Yeah, it was uh, quite compelling, so congratulations. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. It gets even yeah. juicier, by the way. I bet. I yeah. bet, right? Um, so can you describe why it felt important to bring Brett Goldstein from behind the camera to in front of it this season? Well, I think that Brett could have participated in the show in any capacity he wanted, but when the character of Lewis was written, I really couldn't imagine somebody else playing that part. Um, I think Brett is an incredible actor and an incredibly sensitive guy and hasn't had the opportunity yet, I mean, she'll have, he'll have endless opportunities, but to show like the breadth of what he does. And I have some big scenes with this character, not to give too much away as the season progresses. And I wanted it to be against somebody who felt like a formidable equal. Um, and that's like, I think that's what Brett brings to the table. Definitely. Um, your scenes together are, um, are quite, quite great. Such a different character from um, Ted Lasso. Yeah, and that was part of what was important for me too, because I've been in a similar situation where, um, yeah, but th that's not like Marshall Erickson, you know, from How I Met Your Mother. And I went through having to slowly break conceptions to be able to play other kinds of parts. And so I thought like, let's get that out of the way for Brett real fast. I like that. How did you want this season to land? Like, what vibe did you want it to have? Man, I'm going to answer this question in such a kind of weird way, but I, I actually try not to think too much about what, how people are going to respond to something and instead just try to really honestly do what I'm supposed to do between action and cut and let people, I think that's the cool thing about art is that people get to feel about it however they want, you know? And so, um, I'm like excited about the breadth of responses that there could be. Right. Cause yeah. some people are gonna respond to Jimmy. Some people are gonna respond to Gabby. Some people are gonna respond to the Harrison storyline. That, that's what's beautiful about the show is it's like got so many different elements to it. Exactly. Uh, well, speaking of how I met your mother, you mentioned it earlier, it does turn 20 next year. Wow. What, would be a, what would be a fun groovy reunion idea? I feel like three to six months in Hawaii would be nice. With the whole cast, like filming? No, just hanging out or just me. Oh, <laughs> personally, like we're not watching you. Just to reflect Although, on life. <laughs> that would be very great. That would yeah. be very great. Well, one last question for you. This show probes beneath the surface. So it's great to ask, uh, what do you feel is one of your greatest strengths and your most recurring life challenge? Oh, me, Jason Siegel. Um, one of my greatest strengths, I think, is I seem to have the naivety of youth still of not understanding that it's so hard to do any of this stuff. Um, like if I think of an idea, I believe I can make it and I write it and I push that boulder uphill and try to get it made. Um, I don't really let myself indulge the, but it's gonna be so hard part. Um, and that's probably one of my biggest weaknesses too, in that like, I, I don't really give myself an opportunity to rest very often. I, uh, I'm pretty ambitious to think of ideas and get them made. I still feel like it's magic every time it happens. That's really cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. It's a great season. Congrats oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs>